A reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Shout for joy, O daughter Zion. Sing joyfully, O Israel. Be glad and exult with all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord has removed the judgment against you. He has turned away your enemies. The King of Israel, the Lord, is in your midst. You have no further misfortune to fear. On that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear not, O Zion, be not discouraged. The Lord your God is in your midst, a mighty Savior. He will rejoice over you with gladness and renew you in his love. He will sing joyfully because of you as one sings at festivals. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The responsorial psalm among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. God indeed is my savior. I am confident and unafraid. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. With joy you will draw water at the fountain of salvation. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Give thanks to the Lord, acclaim his name. Among the nations, make known his deeds. Proclaim how exalted is his name. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Sing praise to the Lord for his glorious achievement. Let this be known throughout the, all the earth. Shout with exultation, O city of Zion, for great is in your midst, is the Holy One of Israel. Among you is the great and holy one of Israel. Fulfilled. 
to the experience that they experienced. Zechariah and Elizabeth would be the father of John the Baptist, who would prepare the way of the Lord and announce the coming of the Savior. When the angel Gabriel appeared to Mary the same way as he appeared to Zechariah, she humbly consented to his will, gave her permission to be the mother, the son of God. Then in this first chapter two is the praise of Zechariah as well as Mary's prayer that we know as the Magnificat. Zechariah is reading, God has especially also chosen him. Part of the experience, the saving action of God through these two families. And so when we read this piece, this chapter slowly, how wonderful it is for us to glory in the experience that God also includes us who believe in the prophecy fulfilled in these two families. And so then we ask God to continue to deepen our faith even more especially in times of trouble, we continue to be people of peace. And in this way, we honor all those who have served the cause of preserving our freedom and our democracy. And we pray for peace to return to our homes, our neighborhoods, our nation. In this sense, then, we thank God for those who willingly spent their lives defending all that we believe in. And in this sense, then, we are fulfilling the mission that God gave us to know, love, and serve Him in this wonderful country and to continue to pray for the restoration peace in our homes, in our society, among all people of goodwill. We honor those today as well as those that we remember in our families for the sacrifices they have made that will always live in our memories forever. And we praise God that we are the recipients of that peace and joy comes in the same spirit that filled the minds and hearts of both Elizabeth and Mary, and Zechariah and Joseph. The Trinity of love created all things let us pray together for our needs, knowing that we are being heard by a loving God. For all church leaders that they may use our triune God as a model for serving their flock, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For all those who are married or preparing to be married, that their relationship may grow in Christ by the love that they have for each other, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For greater respect for God's gift of creation and work as stewards to protect its resources for the good of future generations, we pray to the Lord. Lord for the end of the COVID-19 pandemic and all the sick, may they be filled with God's grace, receive healing, and be surrounded by a supportive and loving community, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for all those who have given their lives to defend our freedom, and for all those 
brethrens who are still with us, and that they be honored today in this in, in this day in which we honor all our veterans who have served this country for for the benefit of our freedom. We pray to the Lord. Loving God, your love burst forth with new life. Help us to enter into its mystery and spread that same love to our missionary discipleship community. We ask this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. <laughs> may our offerings of the saving sacrifice be acceptable to your majesty, O Lord, as you were pleased to accept the charity of the most blessed mother of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is quiet and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds, to the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we have on our thank and hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things, extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. To him, the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, Join with theirs in one chord, chorus of exalted praise as we
He took bread. Give me thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this on you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more to give thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this one of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. Mystery of Faith. Thank you. 
the only one who takes away the sins of the world. After we are all who are called to the suffering of the Lamb. Lord, Act of the spiritual community. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. All generations will call me blessed, Lord, for he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. May your church proclaim your greatness, O God, for you have done great things for your faithful. And as St. John the Baptist left with joy, when he first sensed the hidden presence of Christ, so may your church rejoice to receive in this sacrament the same ever living Lord who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with all of you. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord for many Thanks, Thanks to God. God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, and the Prenders of God, be our refuge against the wickedness and snares of the devil. 